Hello, everybody. Okay, so I started a project and I was not sure if I was going to bring you along with me or not. Um, so what I did is I took this cube. It's a three inch cube, I believe. Um, I'll double check on those measurements. And I added just a little bit of just this clear um, sky blue translucent pigment, okay? To just a little bit of resin that I had mixed up. Um, yeah, it wasn't very much. And it looks like I've got a little bit more in here. I'm going to go, well, actually, I'm going to wait just a minute on that. So what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put this rock in here. Um, this is just a rock that I found out in my yard. Okay, I picked up a couple of them, washed them, and hopefully they're dry enough. But I decided I'm going to put this rock in here. Let's see, how did I have that? I think about like that. And I'm going to have my little fairy sit on it. And so that she can put her feet in the water. Okay, I think maybe I had it like this. I'm trying to think how I had this. But I had that done. I guess it was about like that. Okay. This little fairy I got on to Moo. It was, came in a set of four. They're kind of a kawaii look, I guess. Okay. But they are um, really cute and actually really well made. I think it was a set of four for, I don't know, three or four dollars. Okay. They're good size. And so I decided I'm going to do a little scene with her. And let's see. I feel like it's better off if she's sitting like that. So I'm going to put my rock in, I think, kind of just here, like that. Okay. So there's a rock there and it's sticking up out of the water, enough for her to sit on the rock with her feet in. Let me make sure that her wing, let's see, can her wings fit? Oh no, her wings can't fit. So. I didn't even think about that. I didn't think about her wings being too big. So we're going to move her rock and it's going to be, you have to sit a bit sideways. Okay, so she can get in there all the way. Let's see. There we go. That's a bit better. She fits in there. She's got her feet in the water. And see one little bubble in here out okay so um i was gonna bring, put a couple of other rocks in there but you know i'm afraid now if i put the rocks in there it's gonna make it too full and i don't want the resin rising up any higher than it already is so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna let that cure and then I'm going to bring in, I have a little lily pad sticker and a couple of other things that I'm going to bring in and put on here. Okay, so I'm going to bring you down off the camera for now. I mean, bring you down off the camera stand and show you kind of what this looks like at this point. Okay, and then um, after that's cured, we'll come back and do the next step. All right. Hello, everybody. Okay, so I went ahead, this is all cured, our little blue part here with the water. I went ahead and I added one of my little orange plastic fish. It's the same fish that I had that I used in my little uh, goldfish bowl that we made. And if you remember right, I bought those on Amazon and I think they came in a pack of 25 or 50, okay? So I just used one of those, I had lots of them. I had a dried leaf that I found in my yard. Um, it just had been sitting in the house for, gosh, a couple months in here um, in case I ever needed it for something. And so I just went ahead and stuck this leaf in there, just kind of laid it in there on the top and it, and it cured. And then I had just a little lily pad that is like this that I use in a lot of my like koi or um, fish watery scenes. Okay. And I just laid that in there. This might be um, a bit. I definitely don't want to add anything else. The next time I try one of these, I might have like some greenery here in the background or maybe a flower. 
Um, but for this one, this fairy is pretty big. So she's going to take up most of the room. So I've made up resin. I've actually made up two eight ounce containers here. Um, this one's starting to get a bit warm. I was letting it sit for a while because I do have micro bubbles. And I got to tell you, I really need to disinvest in a vacuum chamber or a pressure pot. One of the two. I just um, have been hesitating because I'm really not sure which one. I do watch Julie. She has done so great on pouring your heart out of explaining how she goes through the process of the one that she has. So there's a very good chance I'm probably going to just go ahead and order the same one that she's got because I feel like because of her, I already know how to use it. Um, so yeah, I need to do that because I'm getting tired of these teeny tiny bubbles. And it's not the fault of the resin. It's the fault of me. I usually have my studio uh, completely warmed. My resin was warm, but my room in here is not. I had the air conditioning going. So anyway, um, that's why I've got the, the bubbles. But I'm going to go ahead and pour, and then I'll just do maybe a tiny bit of, of alcohol spray. I want to pour kind of slowly because she's got a lot of little nooks and crannies here underneath her dress. And I'm going to just kind of let that slowly level out a bit. Just a bit more here. And just slowly around her legs. I'm not a big mythical kind of person, like when it comes to um, fairies or dragons or mermaids or things like that. But every once in a while, it's fun just to kind of do a, do something. These fairies um, were inexpensive. I think I've already told you that I got them on Tamu and they're good quality, really. They could be like a, almost like a collector's quality. Get that bubble out of there but that one's kind of looks like it's kind of from before down in the water so i'm not going to worry about it too much just don't want too many around her light spray i'm going to have to set this on my curing rack and um, put it in front of the fan so that it kind of cures a little slower than than what it might otherwise because this is kind of deep. I'm going to let this sit for a minute. You can see how far up we're up to her waist. And I've got a few bubbles in there. I can see around the edges. I don't want to spray too much of the alcohol in there because, you know, it does make your... It makes it a bit wavy looking inside. So I'm just going to kind of roll it slowly around in here. It's looking pretty good though, if you can see. Not too much bubbles. Just the teeny tiny ones, really. I'm not, even not, I'm not even too sure that you can see them from where you are. Let that set a second. Let some of those rise up a minute. Not looking too cloudy. Do see some of the bubbles are rising up. I'm going to do another. See, I'm holding my my alcohol spray up, 91% isopropyl alcohol. Alcohol. I'm going to hold it up about maybe, gosh, about 12 inches away. I just want the finest mist in there. Um, I don't want too much of it. bubble. So all around like her little fairy dress where she's got the petals, I thought we might get more, um, thought we might have more bubbles than what we actually got there. So that's good. Thinking that's not going to be too much of a problem. Let's see a couple, I'm going to have to spray close. I've got a couple big bubbles right here. I'm just going to spray one spray kind of closer. Well, two sprays, I guess. 
closer up, pop those. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to continue to pour. I'm going to kind of do it the same way, kind of slowly here on the side. Okay. I'm going to let that even out. I see here, right in front of her dress, I don't know if you can tell, little bit of a cloudy look right down in there from where I sprayed the alcohol. And I don't really want that. Okay, I'm going to try to kind of have it kind of dissipate into the rest of the resin. And I'm using the tip of my wooden skewer that's got other cured resin on it already. When you put a fresh wood stick, craft stick, or a skewer like this into resin, sometimes you can kind of incorporate more bubbles because the wood is porous. So bubbles will come out of the wood. More spray. Come up high. I see a bubble there. Get it up. I do have my heat gun. Maybe I'll just do one quick, one quick heat blast over my heat gun. I don't use it a whole lot anymore. And just just a quick blast with it here. Here, that little bubble go in here. I'm going to also pour over her head. She's got a little bit of a split in the plastic up here on the top. You can see she's got a little bit of split. So I'm going to start pouring over that to start getting it sealed. Also help prevent bubbles at the end. Over her wings. So now I'm going to go over it again with my heat gun real quick. Okay. I'm going to let the bubbles kind of continue to rise out of here. I'm going to do another quick spray. There we go on both sides. I'm going to let that sit for a second and really watch the temperature on it. I'm gonna get my fan turned on, get it ready to go. Okay, gosh guys, here it is so far. I do see some waviness in there from the alcohol. Yeah, and she's definitely sitting in water. She's not, she looks like she's sitting in water, but that's okay. There's not too much more I can do about this without having a pressure pot or something. So I'm going to go ahead and keep pouring. Don't forget when you're doing this and you're new to this or inexperienced, make sure you're pouring in layers, very several shallow layers until it cures. Read the instructions on your resin and really know your resin before you try doing anything like this, okay? There's so much that goes into this as far as temperatures and volume and everything, okay? Okay, so now this is to the top, to the very top. And I expect this to get warm real quick. 
So I'm going to go ahead and push this aside. My, clean my top off. Okay, I'm going to heat it, go over it one more time with my heat gun carefully so that I don't blow it all over the place. All right, guys. All right, that's about all I'm going to do. I'm going to go set it. Uh, well, first I'll bring you down so you can see from this angle here what we've got. And yeah, I feel like this one should come with a uh, one of the square stabilizers. I'll have to see if I have one um, that, I, that would work, but I'm not sure that I do. All right, well, I'm going to bring you down and I'm going to get this moved over really quickly. Okay, and then I'll be back. Welcome back everybody. Okay, our cube is completely cured and it is time to demold it. I'm so excited. Look at it looks pretty good really. You don't see a whole lot of bubbles at least not from this angle but I'm excited to get it out of here and see what it's going to look like. It's really actually pretty bright and colorful and it looks pretty clear. I hope it's turning out the way I hope. Okay, so a lot of times on these cubes, there's a lot of suction, you know, on each side. So it takes a little bit to try to kind of break that seal. I think I'm going to probably add some water to this. I'm not sure what I did with my spray bottle, so I'm just going to pour a bit down the sides here and kind of get that um, kind of moistened up so that we can get it out a bit easier. I'm literally pouring it all the way down to the bottom as far as the water is going to let me, it's, um, I mean, literally I have water kind of going all over the place, but it helps to get this out. I don't want to use alcohol in this because, um, I have found that spraying the alcohol to get my, my projects out of the molds, it leaves my mold sticky. Okay. And I, I mean, not the mold, my project, it leaves my freshly cured resin sticky. And I really don't like that. Um, so you can use water, you can use mold release spray, you can use water with a little bit of like dish soap or something in it. Um, but lately I have found that water and just a little bit of patience on my part, um, actually does quite well. I try to just have paper towels handy and, you know, actually after you do get it out with just using water. You can just dry it off with a paper towel and it's just clean and shiny and yeah, just a matter of preference, but that's what I've been doing. Okay, I'm probably going to speed this part up because it's probably going to take me a few minutes to get this bottom part out. I do now have um, some little bit of water in the bottom I can see, which is good. That's going to help get this, um, get this seal broken, but... Yeah, I'm going to speed it up. Okay, it is finally out of there. There we go. Yay. Okay, now I've got water everywhere because my mold was full of water, but... That's okay. I'm going to just kind of get this dried up real quick and um, then I can bring you in a little closer.
Okay, that's pretty much better. Here it is. What do you guys think? What do you think? You can see her feet in there. Oh, I got this bubble here. Um, it was on the edge of the corner. Even though I took my skewer in and I went to release any of the bubbles around the edges, I didn't see that one. I've got some bubbles coming up out of the rock there. Um, yeah, and it looks like she's blowing a bubble with her mouth. I don't know if you can see <clears throat> that line of bubbles is coming up from the rock. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's not perfect. The, um, not having a pressure pot made a big difference. I'm going to try to fix that big bubble there with a little bit of UV resin, but you know, it's too bad. It didn't happen in the back. It had to happen right in the front, of course, you know, but, um, but gosh, it's still really cute. Yeah, except for that. But uh, yeah, what do you guys think about this anyway? There's certainly still a lot of water all over. <laughs> but uh, this is actually really a fun project. And I'm looking forward already to making another one. My mind is already, you know, creating the next thing. So this, I did just get a little light, little wooden base light from Timu. Look, you can see her little feet and the fish and that little uh, rock actually did a good, great job looking like a log for her to sit on. But um, yeah, gosh, the back of it, everything, there's really not much bubbles except for the big bubbles. Uh, the little issue that I thought I might have too many micro bubbles, really you can't even see them. Um, so, you know, the other bubbles kind of give it character, except I really didn't want her to look like she was sitting underwater, which with all these bubbles now she does. But, um, gosh, you guys, I'm excited to know what you think about this. It's just kind of a fun thing. She's going to probably sit on my desk. I'm not much of a fairy mythical, you know, I don't do much of that kind of stuff. Not, not too much dragons, not too much of that kind of thing. But, um, but I just had to do this. These are great quality and I'm excited to, to try another one. And uh, yeah. So I just want to thank you guys all for joining me. I hope this was fun for you. I hope you got some ideas. I hope that um, when you watch my channel that you're inspired to just be creative, go out on a limb, think outside the box. And uh, gosh, just let your imagination go and... Uh, Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you guys so much. I feel like I'm just making new friends all the time and uh, I love it. I just, I love you guys and I appreciate you all. So I will see you all next time and have a great Mother's Day and I'll see you all next time.